Nina McLaughlin currently in third position. The Commonwealth all-around champion. Excellent beam worker. Round off layout. Two flips in succession. Become rather a trademark element for McLaughlin. Wolf jump. Chin. changement almost a compulsory element in some ways for the girls it just picks up good bonus points for them to build their score up to a start value as close to 10 as they can possibly get it a long pause into the Corbett full leg leap, change leg side to prone. She's really increased in confidence on this apparatus in the last year. She used to be known a little bit for cutting back her amplitude in competition, but not so anymore. performance very hard to stick these back entries onto the beam but she not only does that but com combines it with a series there's the Corbett full ever so slightly off direction and dismount actually traveling quite a way to the right So it must have been a bit of a crooked round off. And she was lucky to stay on her feet. Well, a few minor errors there, but look at the score. Zena McLaughlin, a 9.675. Yulia <laughs> Krostilyova on the floor. Been, oh, that's a surprise. She's been on her feet all the time in training and during warm-ups. Two and a half twist, front, pike, half out. Nice combination. Still, it was a clean performance, apart from that first tumbling run. Here it is. And most surprising to see her miss that. She was spot on all the time in training, so that's disappointing for her. Two and a half front half combination. And a very nice triple twist. Makes it almost look like a double twist. It's so clean. 
And there's the score. She'll be disappointed with that. 8.825. That opens the door a little for Kalaskova. She's now moved to the vault. Handspring front tight. Clean enough. Start score is not particularly high. 9.5 only for possible for this vault. Does it well. Opens it out before the landing. That's what the judges need to see. The stretch of the body before they hit the floor. Second bolt, she's choosing what's called a cuervo. It's a handspring on, half turn off the horse, back salto. Choose it as in pike position. It's a 9.6 start score. She'll be fairly heavily deducted for the lack of opening before she lands, however. And there's the score for Palaskova, 9.125. And the cheer goes up because next up on beam, it's Trudy McIntosh, the Commonwealth Games champion on this particular piece of apparatus. Change leap, change side, clean as a whistle. Straight salto, beautiful wobble there. Straddle jump three quarters to prone support and does a little backward circle around the beam. connects it to a little jump there so a small wobble instead of the connection and a very good double tight she really is quite amazing just 14 years of age but such a seasoned competitor So here comes a series, first flick, builds up speed in the second one, a little bit off, the deduction probably worth about 0.15, so she sh should still get her bonus for the series, and there's that three-quarter straddle jump to prone support, double pike, looks nice and clean with a double pike, just a little bit classier than the double tuck dismount ever so slightly off direction. But nice work from Trudy McIntosh and she scores a 9.625 to the vault and Fan Wen of China. Chinese girls in the top half of this field. Handspring front pipe. Possible 9.5, that's the start value for that particular vault. Knees tucking fairly early before she comes into the landing mat. And needing a little bit more opening as well. vault but with a half turn out much better quality in her second vault even though it's more difficult 9.6 is the start value for that vault 
So good height, nice timing of the turn. All of the back landing bolts tend to be a bit difficult to open out before you land. You can see she retains the pike through her hips. And there's the score, a 9.1 for Fan Wen of China.